I like that you call it the hot seat. Why is my seat so low? <laughs> I feel like I feel so inferior. Will you be my Philip DeFrendo? <laughs> <laughs> Live from Seattle, it's The Hot Seat with Dax Flame. With special guest, Philip DeFranco. And here's your host, Dax Flame. Welcome to The Hot Seat, the talk show with the hottest questions in the game. Today, we have a guest who needs no introduction, an internet legend whose impact on the platform is incredible. Philip DeFranco is here. And as many of you know who watch us, we're not afraid to get deep on the hot seat. So today I wanted to share a little inspiration from one of the deepest thinkers to ever live, Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. My guest today is a YouTube pioneer and the number one news source on YouTube, a true icon of the website, Philip DeFranco. Hey, Phil. Thanks so much for coming. Of course. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a long time. For sure, yeah. So, I, thanks so much for joining us. You know, I have a huge amount of respect for people who have, like, you know, come on the platform for so long. You know, your story, where you've come from, and where you are now. Um, so, what's, like, what's one th way that you're able to mix, like, such serious topics as the news with fun things and comedy, which is something we want to do here on the hot seat. So how do you, any tips for how to do that? Oof. Uh, well, the, the, <laughs> the making fun or like having jokes or talking about light stuff, that's out of just a necessity for me because I've been doing it for so long. It's like 15 years. And if you only talk about the negative, I, ne I don't want to do it, right? It just, it makes me really <laughs> sad because that's, that's what all news is. It's like, it's why... Right now, fewer and fewer people are caring about the news because it's just exhausting. That's an excellent tip. So, so and even before doing YouTube, you wanted to be a doctor? <laughs> well, my dad told me I wanted to be a doctor. Um, and I, I thought that was true. And then I uh, went to school for it. And I was like, I hate this. I, and I think that's like, it took me 16 years from that point to now to realize, like, I, I don't know why, especially I'm in such a privileged position to ha have had this career for 15 years, I'm like, why do I have a bad day? Why am I? And so I've, I've just changed my life in the last three months where uh, I get to actually enjoy my life. I, there was like a saying, it might be too deep. I don't know if you're going for like uh, laugh or like laughs with the show, but everything on, on the hot seat, nothing is off okay. limits. Well, so no. we go, we go deep and we also have fun. So yeah, whatever you're thinking. Well, no, it's just like the saying, I don't know who said it, but it was like the busy man is often not busy living life. And like, I've really taken that to heart. And it's like why I have my son here with me. I was like, I'm gonna turn this interview into a weekend with him and we're gonna make memories. And so like, that's that's been my focus. And then speaking of children, what do you want your son to be when he grows up? Yeah, I mean, whatever he he wants. He, uh, he thinks that he wants to, to open up Pokemon cards for a living now. Uh, so we're gonna just do that. And Is that why you bought him about 2,000 cards over the last few months? Wait, have you seen that? Or are you just, just correctly guessing? Yeah, no, uh, it wasn't, I don't think it was 2,000. I think it might be $800. <laughs> okay, or 2,000 <laughs> cards, but $800 worth. Yeah, I don't know how many cards, but it is, it was, it's $800 because I looked at it and I was like, that was a bad choice. <laughs> okay. So what uh, did you have, what did, uh, what makes breakfast the most important meal of the day? Did you have an omelet today? <laughs> I didn't. I, uh, I, uh, that's, I love, I, I respect you. Yeah, this is like Sean Evans level of research. I, I love mm. it. No, you're like, I just Googled you this morning. <laughs> we, we do good research, but we don't talk about hot ones. <laughs> Wait, what happened with hot ones? Did Sean Evans come here and do something horrible? No, no, no. <laughs> we just don't want to draw the comparison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm like, I'm like, how many times can you. I mention Sean? I appreciate Sean? the compliment. <laughs> Because <laughs> he is one of my inspirations. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? So I could so, I could remove hot ones from it. Um, so why is breakfast the most important meal of the day? And did you have an omelet this morning? I did not have an omelet. I uh, I woke up at four thirty for y'all so that I could jump on the. Well, thank you. Yeah, the only flight that I could I could find. Wow. I told you guys that I'd booked my flight, but then I didn't actually do it until a week later. Uh, so do you consider yourself a procrastinator? I have no. I have the, one of the worst memories ever, 
right? So um, I don't even know how I came up with the name Philip DeFranco because that's uh, that was a stage name. You made that name to kind of establish a new identity. Well, so I initially changed it because uh, I had a, it was a small or it was a big following at the time, but generally small. And someone came to my front door, uh, and it, nice girl it was great, but it freaked me out that someone like found me through my real name. And so I came up with a stage name, deleted anything that had a reference to it, and then, like an idiot, legally changed my name <laughs> to Philip DeFranco. So what was your first name initially? Oh, Philip Franchina. Cool, cool. And what sucks is there's a guy on TikTok with that last name now. Is he famous? He's relatively big. Wow. I forget what he does. I just, I saw Franchina, and I was like, am I related? Oh, my God. Because I, I used to think... Like, yeah, Franchina, that's not a name that's going to be able to stick. And then this motherfucker. Can we take a look at one of his clips? We can search it. I don't follow him, I don't I think. I hope you have the most incredible day ever because you deserve that. You're doing wonderful things every single second of this day that you are existing. And I'm just so proud of you. I hope you're proud of you, too. <laughs> um, so I know you like learning new languages. How would you order a Michelada in Spanish? Oh, no. Okay, so... Just so we're on the same page, I failed Spanish one twice, and I'm on a 20-day streak on Duolingo. But as far as ordering a mich michelada, I think it would be, uh, yeah, it would be a, just <laughs> yo tango michelada. <laughs> nice. Or wait. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent job. Excellent job. Wait. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. You flustered me. And I'm like, did I just say... Well, on a talk show, it can be you feel like you're feel like you on the spot and stuff, but that's part of the hot well, seat. Well, this is, like is also... I like that you call it the hot seat. Why is my seat so low? <laughs> I feel like... I feel so inferior. Will you be my Philip DeFrendo? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. I was talking to my wife before we came here. I was like, when was the last time we saw Dax? I know. I was like, I think we were in a van. I think we were in a van with Shay to do something. Speaking of talk shows, we were going to see Jimmy Kimmel. And speaking of Shay Carl, do you have any thoughts on his controversies? Oh, wow. Uh, no, it's been too long. Okay. What about Shane Dawson? <laughs> I love, I love, I fucking love the, the jab in between the softballs. Uh, no, it's been so long. I don't know. Okay. So now we're going to do a segment that everyone loves. It's called Hot Shots. Let's see. So oh, this, no. um, I feel like we're taking a turn. So, okay. So this was, um, this was a photo I took uh, yesterday. So it's basically like, we'll insert it here. But yeah, it's like, I just like how in Seattle, it's like em the Emerald City, I think. Um, so it's like, you got beautiful nature. Yeah. Uh, I got, the, like, I'm just trying to get a lot of different shots of like the Space Needle. And then um, that's got those people that are in the water just jumped off that bridge. Okay. To, like, yeah. So it's like. Yeah, I like how Seattle has all different types of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. But wait, <laughs> I'm like, wait, is this a photo of something? Like, you took this? Yeah. So I've, I've been taking photos all around Seattle during yeah. my time here because I'm not from here. But yeah, how have you liked your time in Seattle? Well, I've only been here uh, a few hours, but we went to the Space Needle. It was really fun. Yeah. And um, do you have any other, like, do you have any fears? Like, that, like are is heights one of your fears? Heights? Um, I'm scared of break-ins. Mm. Um, like, I'm here, I won't. In, I won't post on social media that I'm here because I'm worried someone's going to break into my house again. Well, you had to change your name because of someone being weird in the past. So yeah, yeah. But I mean, sense. someone, like, when I went to, I think it was Fantastic Fest uh, a few years ago, tweeted about it, and then someone broke into my house while my family was there. So oh, my like, gosh. Yeah. You don't want to miss any of this. We're going to cut to some messages real quick. And we're going to be talking all things entertainment and everything. So stick around. Welcome back. We are here with Philip DeFranco. And can I actually go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is there anything that you've ever been on an interview and you're like, this is too vulnerable to share right now? Is there anything like that where right now you're like, uh, there's something vulnerable that you would be one, want to share today, today? A vulnerability. Can you share anything vulnerable with us? Oh, can you give me some examples that I could maybe... Some people have said like, uh, say like that they get insecure about some things or like that. Like Ian said that he has peed the bed as an adult multiple times. So it could be any range of things. No, I mean, uh, I think maybe the only insecurity that I've had, but luckily uh, as, a, as a guy on the internet, it doesn't get thrown in my face as much as it would be if I was a woman. But I, you know, I've struggled with my weight my entire career. Um, and, you know, I was looking back at, like, I'm, I still have work to do now, but I was looking back to how I was. You're in excellent shape. 
I'm in better shape. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, also, I'm very bad at taking any sort of compliment, so you should know that. Um, What's but, your favorite compliment you've ever gotten? Also, in addition to, well, I'll let you complete your thought. No, no, no. Wait, so favorite compliment? Anyone, anytime anyone says that I'm entertaining or funny or something like that, but I'm, once again, like I'm someone that has had to train myself to, to interact with people, so I'm just like, and then this is what you say, so they feel good about themselves because uh, I don't want them to have a bad reaction or, or a bad interaction with me. Um, so I don't know. It's a, it is like a weird balance. Um, what uh, do you keep in touch with Lisa Nova? <laughs> no, no, I don't able to keep in touch with Lisa or Danny or really anyone that that fucked me back then. Oh, not not sexually. I just mean business wise. What do they do business-wise? I don't want to talk about it. There's still too many people that work at that fucking company in this industry. <laughs> they wanted me to be a part of the station back in the day, too. Yeah, and you, you, you could have. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to. <laughs> well, I think that mentally it might not have been the best choice. Monetarily, it probably would have been fantastic. Mm. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so what's your opinion on mental health? Um, it's very important. Uh, you need to take time and actually... Uh, uh, well, do you think it's overrated or underrated? Mental health, like like in the culture, is mental health overrated or underrated? I I don't I know that it's the most important thing, and yes. okay, uh, I don't I don't think enough people still take it seriously. But so okay, if uh, okay, if a disabled person was in a wheelchair and a homeless man began rolling them towards a staircase, what would you do? What? <laughs> Wait, so go through that again? Like if someone, I gotta visualize it. If a disabled person was in a wheelchair and a homeless man began rolling them towards a staircase, what would you do? I mean, you... Let's see a quick clip. I would try to help, I imagine. Yeah, I'd like to think that. Ooh, okay, so say that you helped and later you found out that that person went on to like commit a crime or a, like even a murder or something. And so this, so this is Hitler was in the wheelchair. Not him, but like <laughs> a realistic scenario. And then, so basically like if you found that out, would you report that on your show? Would I report it on my show after everyone was like, well, you saved him. Yeah. Okay. What if you were in, you were driving a car and you caused a death and would you report that on your show? <laughs> like if it would, I don't think I'd get the ability to. Well, it was like you're not, you're not, you didn't do it on purpose or anything, so you ha you're fine. But like, so, okay, it, so I'm being charged with vehicular manslaughter, but I haven't been. Yeah, and yet. it's in the, it's in the headlines. <laughs> That's great. I don't know. I uh, no, I'd probably if it was no, yeah, I'd probably shut the fuck up about it. Well, because that's what your lawyer would say to do. They'd be like, shut the fuck up. That's the whenever anyone does anything. And or like or they're accused of something. If they're even remote, like shut the fuck up. Let the let the people that you throw money at do the talking. Well, saying this in the least accusatory way possible. Where do you draw the line for your show? For like wh when you would talk about your personal, like if you did something bad versus like well, I I actively try to stay out of the news. I okay. like talking about the news, not being the news. Good point. Um, so. Okay, one thing you may not realize is that throughout this interview, I've been taking note of your body language, oh. and I've been kind of trying to analyze it, and you're a hard person to read, because I can't I? tell if it's like, you're kind, you're very open, but also your legs are clo like clo crossed, okay. and then you're leaning back, but also like forward, so it, you're a mixed signals person. <laughs> Maybe I just have a weak core. Maybe that's what's happening. No, I don't think, I think that, I think that you're just like, uh, you're, in, you're very thoughtful. Are you a bath guy or a shower guy? Used to be a bath, now shower. Now, because uh, I used to like to relax, but now I just get in, get out, get so on with my life. you say used to, but do you ever take like a three-hour bath or anything like that? Not anymore. I used to, constantly. So what is what your... What about you? Uh, showers. Okay. Um, what is your greatest strength and your greatest weakness? Greatest strength, greatest weakness. Um, these days, I would say trust my gut um, and being open to more situations. Like, I haven't done a thing for anyone else for four years. Um, so I thought this would be a fun <laughs> first way back, uh, but, uh, thank you so much for doing it. No, of course. But also I think it's cause it's you. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, I, yeah, we go back. Phil, Phil, Phil. <laughs> um, 
So now we're going to play a game called Just Chattin'. In Just Chattin', there's nothing off limits. It's a game where you basically just talk about anything, anything that comes to your mind. No planning, no filters, just let your freak flag fly. My freak flag fly just right now? What's on my head? Uh, well, uh, so then you can have like, so you'll have 60 seconds to just talk about any topic that comes to your head, and then we'll switch gears to another one and another one. And yeah, just whatever you want to do, go for it. Oh, no. Why would you? Why would you put this responsibility on a man that speaks 14 words at a time? No, Phil talks so fast. Watch this clip of him on his news channel. <laughs> okay, I got to say that. I don't think that I talk that fast. Okay, next topic. I, uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, wait. Okay, I was like, I, I have Pokemon in my head. Um, and I do feel like, I know that we talked about it, but I feel like I, uh, I don't know, I'm going along with my son's interest in it because it is also self-serving for me. Uh, and so like, he's excited that we have like a rainbow Charizard. So now I'm over the moon about it. Um, and part of it's, part of it's new and then part of it, uh, isn't cause my dad and I used to collect comic books, but cool. now all these years later, we know maybe keep them. Cool. <laughs> maybe don't throw them out. Yeah, true. They just appreciate in value. Well, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you ready to play Hot Lady of the Day? Not at all. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like it's gonna hurt my career. <laughs> so can I? You can say if you don't want me to mention this, but Phil used to do a game uh, on his show called Sexy Lady of the Day. So today we're gonna play Hot uh, Lady of the Day with Phil. So one, I don't mind that you do it. I talk about how I so fucking hate my show from back in the day and and what I was trying to do because it was very like an attempt at man show slash like Dane Cook, like ugh, garbage. Uh, but I was going to say it's, it was, <laughs> it's, it was like w trying to, to make it less scummy feeling of lovely lady of the day. You did hot for wor a word of the day and then it evolved into sexy lady of the day. Yeah. So we would do like lovely lady of the day and, lovely lady. and we do like, uh, ugh. Are, you, are you ready to play hot lady of the day? Oh God. What is it? What does it look like? Um, so I'll just show you some of You'll just rank who your favorite is. So. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, okay, wait. Oh, God, what? Okay. Scarlett Johansson. Wait, so what am I supposed to say? How, if you like her. Uh, these are some of my celebrity crushes. And okay. Phil used to do this thing called Lovely Lady of the Day, where he would kind of show different people every day. And it's not something that he will, like, look back as much anymore. At anymore, so... Uh, if you want to rank who you like best, maybe initial statements, and then we'll rank them. I, <laughs> I'm not okay. So one, I can't rank. Okay. I can't rank. Like so you can't put them in order. If what, seeing the picture of Scarlett Johansson, I could go, totally understand. As far as like gotcha. you saying, okay, you have a crush. Let's go. Totally understand. And then uh, Penelope Cruz. Totally understand. Or do you want to? I'm not ranking women. No, don't rank. Don't rank. <laughs> okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah. I was just trying to... Who is that? Maribel Verdu. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. I, uh... Wait. Yeah? <laughs> like, this is... I don't know. <laughs> I hope that didn't make you uncomfortable. <laughs> no. Phil is super respectful. He wouldn't rank people anymore. <laughs> you think I have good taste? You have, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we have two more games. Wait, three more games. And I also just wanted to say, I know it's a huge trek to come out here. And so I wanted to give you a thank you card. Uh, and then. Oh, is that for me to leave? No, no, no. That was an accident. I, <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Um, and then I've, I've been wanting to give people thank you cards. Um, Should I open it here? Yeah, yeah, go for it. You could read it too if you want. Okay. Thank you. Starbucks gift card. Yep. I appreciate yeah. it. Started in Seattle because then you can enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you for coming out to Seattle. Hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Dax, Flame, Hot Seat. Thank you. How much is on the card? Five bucks. Uh, uh, so it's a, it's just like a little thing, but no, it's good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's more just like a gesture. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate it. So now we're going to play a game called pack versus pack hot packs. Are you ready? What? Yeah. What's the game? What, what is it? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. 
So, here you go. Okay. How are we doing this? Be real. Who's your least favorite YouTuber? <laughs> Trying to take my walls down. Uh, I don't know if I have a least favorite. I mean, if I... Say Oh, I have a Why? good... Why? I, Why are you trying to throw me into drama, Trey? No, actually, I, I actually don't like <laughs> as much as all the other YouTubers. Wow. Uh, I uh, I cannot stand by my son's statements. That's a contra <laughs> That's the most controversial thing that's been on here, and we had HRH. Wait, HRH? She, she's a very controversial figure. Okay. Check this out. That one looks good. Oh hell yeah! Wait, let me see. See, that's, this is where you go, oh, that texture. Nice texture. Is that one good? Wait, let me see that. <laughs> Trey, <laughs> Trey, what are you doing? Yep, that one's good. Nice. Any other people you want me to, to get into a YouTube fight with, apparently? Don't gotta win again. Okay. <laughs> What's your f favorite thing about Mr. Beast? What's my favorite thing about Mr. Beast? So uh, that he has apparently such a genuine drive. Also, does anyone ever tell you you look like Channing Tatum? Zero people. You do? No. I've met him, so take so my you word know. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, it like, is it like if I was in a car accident and I couldn't work out for six months? No, you just look months? like him. Okay. How tall is he? Maybe a little taller than you. Uh -huh. Well, actually, maybe the same height, exactly. Six feet. Okay. Should we look that up? <laughs> we'll just do a side by side. Take first. a look at Channing next to Phil. Awesome. So we're gonna play a game called Hot Bomb, and basically, what that is is we're gonna have you take a little taste. Oh, why? If he's really the king of spicy food, let's see if he can handle it. This is. This is like if you've ever. Let's see. If, Wait, can I not talk about the other thing? You're gonna take their fucking staple sauce that that everyone hates, and, you're, and then you're gonna be like, "Don't touch." And what? God, this this stuff lives in my nightmares. Let's see if he can do it. You do Caleb it with DeFranco me. DeFranco is about to try. I'll, I'll do I'll do it if you do it with me. I don't want to. Come on. He's scared. No, I just I think it's I think. Wait, do I really have to? I would love if you did. Okay. Should we just lick the lid? This is gonna this is gonna sound so stupid. Let's switch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just do a Yeah. How old is this? <laughs> Actually that one's old. Let's use this one. Okay. Wow, oh, God, whatever. Do I have to do it? You don't have to do it. Okay. Mmm. I hate the... Wow. You know what's weird? I've only ever had it on the other show that we won't name. But it tasted horrible there. That actually tastes nice. It's got a burn to it. He really is the king. No, I'm not the king. I also shouldn't do this. Literally, my doctor was like, stay away from spicy stuff. <laughs> because it's gonna... It's gonna agitate the, the stuff. But Philip DeFranco good. coming in hot. Risking it all for the hot seat. Philip, it's been so nice talking to you. Thank you for risking everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Phil, class act, old school OG. You did, had the hot ones, hot sauce. You tried the hot sauce, you did the cards. Thank you so much for coming on. You really are the king. Thank you so much. Dude, thank you for having me. Oh. Should I walk now? Yes. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I broke <laughs> Philip DeFranco, everyone. Good night, Seattle. Have a good one.